Fantastic. David Barnson is with us. All right, David, I think you saw this, but earlier on the show, Brian Westbury was talking about 32,500 on the Dow by the end of the year. OK, that requires a Trump win and it requires an election result that's speedy. But what do you make of that prediction? Well, any kind of short-term prediction is going to be pretty difficult, and, and I uh, respect Brian for trying, and also yeah. I respect Brian for being right an awful lot yeah. more than yes. they're wrong. I mean, yeah. those guys have, have had a really good perspective, and this goes back to the financial crisis. They were calling for bullish outlook coming out of 2009, and they nailed that back then, too. Here's the thing I, I find compelling about his forecast. The Dow, until recently, had really lagged the other indexes that were doing better, and even now, you have the equal weight S&P and a lot of the other sectors that are non-technology that have not participated to the same degree. So I think that you have plenty of opportunity to see other things that have been laggard still catch up. Yep. You still have half of the stocks in the S&P that are down. So seeing that continued improvement would not surprise me. But I'm not even sure, Stuart, that it's just President Trump winning. It's the Republicans holding the Senate. The, if there is some kind of holdback in the market around the concerns of the corporate tax cuts going away and some of the other market unfriendly things that Joe Biden is threatening to do, all of that gets off the table if the Republicans can just hold the Senate. Uh, I just wonder if we're going to see anybody buying the big tech dip. Huge run up in the last few days. A dip this morning. Look at that. We've got it on the screen now. All the big techs are down significantly pre-market. That's a dip. I wonder, David, if people are going to be buying that dip. What do you think? Well, Stuart, I don't want you to get upset with me, but that's not a dip. <laughs> it has to dip <laughs> no, like 50% right. before right. it becomes viable. Right. These, thi these things are up so much it's a pull that back. it really would have to be a significant. It would have to be a really significant dip to become compelling and viable to the type of people that are bargain shoppers. You know, like dividend guys like me. <laughs> dividend guys like you, that's right. <laughs> All right, David, hold on a second.